static versus dynamic ip address so static and dynamic ip address what is it let's see over here i got a computer this computer is connected to internet via the internet service provider considering vodafone or hutch or someone i got an ip address here 192.168.1.2 so next day i am trying to connect to the computer so i am connecting to the internet now i am getting a different ip address yesterday it's 1.2 and today is 8.7 that's where the biggest problem is so let's see like how we can identify the ip address go to the command prompt over here i got my command prompt so i am giving ip config if you give ip config command automatically you are able to see 192.168.2.46 so this is called as the ip address which is nothing but a dynamic ip address where the ip address is changing every time so let me go back uh, to my network over here i got my network and internet connections click it here i'm getting my setting so i'm checking a show available network or change adapter setting i'm able to see my network is here so this one is not connected and this one is connected once click it automatically i got my properties here i'm clicking this wireless properties i'm able to see the security and everything here details i got my ip address and everything is here so this is ip address default gateway and everything is here so let me go back and check the properties i got the wifi properties here search for tcp ip over here click it you are able to see obtain an ip address automatically this is nothing but the dynamic ip address because the ip address is allocated dynamically or else if i want a specific ip address i can click it here 192 168 2 dot uh, 240 i can have it so the subnet mask is this one i'm clicking ok so you're able to see like it's showing an error like it's a warning that you want to change the configuration so for time being i'll click yes so let me check whether my ipad is reflecting it looks good and uh, over here i'll give ip config you're able to see 2.46 it's not changing i guess it's not changing but this is the procedure to change it so you can give your ip address here 2.240 okay since it's not accepting in this computer multiple gate default got entered to provide redundancy to a single network this will not function properly when the gateways are of two separate disjoint networks Clicking yes, okay. Close it. Let me go back. Click it. Properties. IPv4. It's there. So this is the IP address. Wireless properties. Uh, details. It's two dot forty. It's changed. That's really good. So my IP address is changed. So two dot forty six is my previous IP address. It's two dot forty. <laughs> so this is how you are able to give a specific IP address for your machine. So by default, uh, most of the companies they will have this one as an option. Obtain an IP address automatically. This is nothing but your dynamic IP address. Whatever the IP address is available, give it to the person. So that's how it will be. So now let's move on here. So this is your computer and this is your ISP. and you got the internet world you will be connecting to the servers gmail wikidiki facebook linkedin so why are the computer is connecting at this stage you will be getting this ip address transformation so this is how the network is formed the computer is interconnected with the multiple computers and the network is formed so the data is transferred so dynamic ip address will periodically change so typically assigned to the isp customers so the, this is the internet service provider they will dynamically allocate an ip address whereas static ip address will not change okay so it will be forever 
So here is the difference. So addressing info doesn't change. It's hard coded. So addressing info, it's hard coded here. It's hard coded here. Over here, um, addressing info can change dynamically. Needs to be configured manually. I need to configure manually. Not configured manually. Can't be used by any other device because so this is the warning. Have you seen it? This is the warning provider. If I give this one, 192.168.2.45 On clicking it, you are able to see multiple devices intended to provide to a single network. This will not function properly when the gateway is of two separate disjoint networks. So, you are able to see it here. This is the warning it's indicator. So, we need to configure it manually. Can't be used by other devices. An IP address can be shared by other devices. It's an IP address pool. Easy to make a mistake when entering. So I can make a mistake, right? So I can make a mistake like uh, 58 or something like that. Easy to make changes and updates because it's dynamic, automatically change. Labor intensive to change. I need to do it manually. There is no manual configuration available. So this is the difference between your static and dynamic IP addressing. So hope you know my channel, uh, uh, Wikitiki Code. Go to YouTube. This is my Wikitiki code. Over there, you are able to see all my videos and everything. And if you go to the playlist, you can see the projects and everything here. And uh, uh, this is our website, wikitiki.com. So here is our website. So you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And this is our wikitiki.com. And if you want to see like uh, what is the public IP address available, over here, go to Google search what is my IP address. Automatically, this is your public IP address, which is also a dynamic one. Considering a website is there, wikitiki.com, this will be placed in a static IP. Because every time I put wikitiki.com, automatically, so ping wikitiki.com, this is your static IP. It won't change. It won't change. This is a static IP. But my internet address, this is my IP address today. And tomorrow it will change. It will change for sure. By tomorrow it will change. This is called a dynamic IP address. Anyway, thanks for watching and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and uh, click this bell to get lots and lots of projects from our company. The recent project is server hacking. I place it. Please visit our website and YouTube channel and learn as much as you can. Thanks for watching this video from Venkat.